Okay, what I'm doing today is I threw a log on the mill and I'm gonna mill up some two by fours. Um, our daughter-in-law, Janine, gave us a half a dozen chickens. So I gotta build a chicken coop. And I have some Adirondack siding and stuff that I'd cut for other stuff that I can use. But I need some two bys to frame it with. So I'm gonna put this log on and make some two by fours. I might get a couple of pieces of siding out of it too, just because it works out that way. I think that's two more pieces of Adirondack siding over there, too. Want me to get them? Well, do you want to have the choice of using them if you wanted to? If you needed a wide one? I want this um, four feet wide. So this is rough sawn, and they're not necessarily exactly even, although they are in this case. But a quick way to determine how long they have to be in between is to take the four foot mark, which is what I want the overall to be, put it on the outside, read the inside, and that tells you I need 44 and three quarters for my inside pieces. Just a quick, easy way of doing it. But a quick way to determine how long they have to be in between is to take the four foot mark, which is what I want the overall to be, put it on the outside, read the inside, and that tells you I need 44 and three quarters for my inside pieces. Just a quick, easy way of doing it. Now to tell how many you need, I'm going 16 inch centers. And when you're laying out from the outside with 16 inch centers, you'll notice on the tape measure, 16 inch centers are in red. But you don't want to mark 16 inches. What you want is half of the thickness of the wood. We'll just make it easy and say three quarters. And you mark three quarters shy, which is 15 and a quarter, 31 and a quarter, 47 and a quarter, and 63 and a quarter. Now, I know we need one, two, three, four, five, we need six boards cut.
Now before I go any further, I want to square this up. You do that by running the diagonal. Believe it or not, I'm within a sixteenth of an inch of being perfect. I just got to shove it this way. Okay, we got the deck on. Like I said, I used up a bunch of stuff that I had laying around that might have gone to waste. I hadn't used it. So it's good good that I can put to use some of the wood that's, that is laying around. So now we'll start the framing.
What you have to do to get good cuts is you have to just take an edge and cut it and then you measure across because there's no way to use a square here. So as you see, it works pretty well. Joints are pretty good. I mean, it is rough sawn and these two buys are in and out slightly and stuff, but it's coming out pretty well. Some people may wonder why I'm using an old wooden handled hammer. But this is not that old a hammer. It's about <clears throat> maybe 15 years old. And it's made out of titanium. And it's only 10 ounces. But it has the hitting force of a 16 ounce hammer. I use this hammer for everything, including framing. It's a $100 hammer, too. Well, there's another wall finished. What I'm doing here for the door is uh, we're putting a sliding door and sliding barn door so it would slide over here.
Okay, so we got our nesting box in there now. There's only seven chickens. And they said you need one box for every six or seven chickens. So we got three boxes. It should be more than enough. Mrs. W will put a bunch of shavings on the ground, on the floor. And that water is a heater. So I'll have to put an outlet in here and a light. But they do have the two windows. So it should stay fairly light in here. And chickens need light. They like light. Okay, I'm gonna make a gate for the fence. I just got some miscellaneous pipe that I had laying around, not even the same size. So I'll do the best I can putting it together. We're trying to do this on a shoestring, so whatever we can do to save money. And they, they want a hundred bucks for a gate. When I was young, I used to wait on my master and hand him his plate, pass the bottle when he got dry, and brush away the blue tail fly. Jimmy cracked corn, and I don't care. Jimmy cracked corn, and I don't care. Jimmy cracked corn, and I don't care. My master's gone away. And when he'd ride in the afternoon, I'd follow after with a hickory broom. When bitten by the boot tail fly, Jimmy cracked corn and I don't care. Jimmy cracked corn and I don't care. Jimmy cracked corn and I don't care. My master's gone away. One day he ride around the farm. The flies so numerous they did swarm. One chance to bite him on the Beneath this stone I'm forced to lie A victim of the boot tail fly Jimmy crack corn and I don't care Jimmy crack corn and I don't care Jimmy crack corn I don't care My master's gone away Okay, there's the door. We're gonna put it on a track. So it'll slide open. So I tried to keep it as light and simple as possible and still look good. I um, haven't got the track yet, so when I get that, I'll hang it. We got some chickens in there. 
as you can see we're not done door I still waiting on the hardware and we got to finish up the pen but we got a, enough of a pen that they can at least run around for a little while outside We have it. What do you think? What? What? Are you talking? Are you talking? Are you a bird? Yeah? <laughs> what about you gals? You don't have any opinions? No? No? All right. Well, I think that about wraps it up for the chicken coop video. The ladies are inside. And they seem to like it. Oh, thanks for watching.